Hi, I'm Matt, owner of Tie Dot Iguana, and today I want to talk about some of the pros and cons of heat bulbs and heat mats. Uh, these are two very common heat sources. Both of them have their pros and cons, so I'm hoping today's video will give you um, a little bit of information about what you want to use and when. So I want to start with the heat bulb because this is probably the most popular heat source for a reptile. In my opinion, the biggest pro of the heat bulb is that it illuminates your tank. So visually it looks very nice um, versus having no visual heat source on the tank which makes it look very dark. Another pro of the heat lamp is you can adjust the wattage of the bulb, so 100 watt to a 75 watt, which will um, change the temperature. You can also adjust the style of the bulb. So whereas this guy right here is a tight beam basking bulb, which directs the heat uh, straight down to the bottom of the tank, you might also be able to use an incandescent style bulb, which radiates out in all directions. So the style of the heat bulb is very directional, which will allow you to put the heat source either on the ground, in a tree, or just an ambient heat source, uh, something you cannot do with a heat pad. Another pro with the heat bulb is the color of the bulb. So we have an infrared bulb, for instance. Um, this tends to be less visually stimulating for the animal, works really well for a nighttime heat source and really well for a nocturnal um, animal, uh, versus this right here, which is a daytime uh, visual light or a visual heat source. Um, so those are some of the pros of doing the heat bulb. Um, you know, that'd be adjusting the temperature via wattage, via the style of the bulb, and then adjusting uh, the way it looks visually based on the color of the glass of the bulb. Now, some of the cons of heat bulbs, they blow out and sometimes they blow out like crazy. If you're watching this video, you've probably experienced that before. They get shipped via ground, so we all know how uh, shipping companies work, they throw the boxes. I've had heat bulbs last over a year. I've had heat bulbs last about 10 seconds. Um, I would say that's probably your biggest con to the heat bulb. The second biggest con to the heat bulb, um, let's just call it what it is, it can be a fire hazard. Keyword there is can be. I am not saying this is a fire hazard, I'm saying it can be. So for instance, if a cat gets on top of your tank and knocks it over, um, if a child isn't paying attention and they stack their homework right next to the bulb or it gets really hot. So uh, anytime you have something that's getting very hot like that, you need to be aware. Lastly, another con of the heat bulb, and I'm gonna go back to the style of the bulb, uh, would be the halogen bulb. These are a very, very tight directional bulb and they will burn the animal if not used properly. We've actually had it happen here before on a Euromastix. Um, these have a very hot concentrated spot, so if you don't make sure that this is far enough away, it will burn the animal. They just lack the mental capacity sometimes to realize that they're being slow cooked. So those would be your biggest cons. Now, your heat mat or under tank heater, um, your pro to this is that they don't tend to go out. Um, they do eventually go out, but you're usually going to get about 10 years on these before they blow out per se or just stop working. That is probably your biggest pro to these. Another pro is that it's very unlikely that they'll burn the animal. The Zoomed heat, uh, heat pad is, um, for the most part, pre-programmed to not get too hot, although most people will put these on a thermostat to ensure that they don't get too hot. Um, but the biggest pro is they don't blow out, so you might go through in 10 years, you're probably gonna go through at least 10 bulbs at a minimum. Uh, so this right there immediately will save you some money. But then the other pro with this too would be um, the low, uh, the low um, clearance. Since it sticks underneath your tank, if you don't have the height on top of the tank for a heat, uh, heat bulb, um, this will allow you to utilize a very low clearance area and still apply your heat. Uh, that being said, a con with the heat pad isn't necessarily in the heat pad itself, but in how it's utilized. So these will stick underneath the tank, and sometimes, it's very rare, but sometimes I'll see individuals that don't put bedding in the tank. They only do newspaper or paper towel. Well, that gives you no buffer space when it comes to insulating the heat. And so if you have this just stuck to the bottom of the tank with no insulation in there via substrate, um, the animal can slow cook and get a thermal burn on their belly. That is a, a definitely a common con to these. Um, another con to the heat pad is you get no visual light. So if this is your only heat source, you're gonna have a tank that visually is very dark and it just doesn't look real pretty. So that was kind of a real quick and dirty on your heat bulbs versus your heat mats, pros and cons. For the most part, that's everything you'll experience. My personal opinion, I'm a fan of the heat bulb. I love the ability to, um, to adjust the visual light. I love the ability to adjust my heat utilizing the different types of bulbs. Um, I've never really been a big heat mat guy. These by far, I would say, are um, pretty darn popular within the industry. But at the end of the day, it's all personal preference. So uh, again, I'm Matt, owner of Tie Dye Iguana, and that those would be your pros and cons of heat bulbs versus heat mats.